So maybe you've heard of this Gore Drinker Kha'Zix build with the Conqueror going around lately and honestly I did a video of this in the past and I thought it was really good at the time just when the preseason 11 just came out but now I'm just like oh man this build feels really average but I've got something better for you. Uh, Divine Sundar Kha'Zix, yes, that's what we're going over today. This was an awesome game I played on stream, and it was just so much fun in combination with a phase rush page. So let's get into the game, and I do recommend you guys try this build out because it's really, really fun to play. Um, if you're new here and not subscribed, make sure to do so. We've got a lot of more juicy videos coming out soon, so stick around for that. How about we try and reach 1300 likes today? Sound good? Achievable? Alright, awesome. Thank you guys, let's get into this Divine Sundara Kha'Zix game. Everything you see was broadcasted live at twitch.tv slash x one Hope to see you there. So this is a build that I was just absolutely blown away by in this game, and holy shit man. Divine Sundara Kha'Zix actually feels amazing to use. Um, I was really impressed by it, to be honest. And this is uh, the game. This is the game where you run it. Uh, with the good old phase rush and, uh, you know, just generally a sort of bruiser style Kha'Zix. So, welcome back guys, hope you're doing alright. And we are back for the fourth day in a row, incredible. Oh my god, I'm very surprised in myself to be honest. <laughs> in terms of, you know, making these videos, but yeah. Alright, here we're going to see an interesting uh, cage fight between the two monkeys in the top lane. So, uh, both are like, Ooh, me want, we, me want bush control. And then uh, they just they just really go at it here. I don't know, man. Flashes were burnt, summers were burnt. You know, shits flying everywhere. Uh, they're throwing poo at each other. You know, just just the classic top lane level one skirmish. It happens. Uh, so that was a pretty entertaining moment there. Uh, but yeah, we just we're just gonna start on our full clear now. And look at this shit, man. The Jin. Holy, he trolled me. He hard trolled me. Take a look at that. All right, guys. If you're an ADC. Don't, don't, sh don't shoot the Gromp, because if you're ranged and you hit the Gromp, the Gromp is just gonna follow you all the way to your lane, and you just screw over your jungler. Even though it seems like you're trying to help, just, just leave it. Just don't touch it. It's better off doing that. And so yeah, I, my, my clear was slowed by about five seconds there. That was very nice. Uh, but hey, it's whatever. So the reason I'm going to divine Sundra here is because this is a this is a team that actually can't do much damage to me um there's a lot of utility on the enemy team but uh they just don't have that much damage to actually shut me down and that, that's why i was like huh man phase rush with divine sundra is gonna kick ass in this game and sure enough like it's just incredible um <clears throat> it's a really really fun playstyle. And I think it's a good alternative to um, the Gore Drinker Conqueror playstyle that's been going around lately. Um, I honestly really, really recommend trying this out. Um, but yeah, we'll get to the we'll get to the items when I actually have the gold to buy it. So we see the Nunu here. He's going to be running up with a snowball. Tilly is going to be forced to flash, and turns out he's only done his blue, um, not his red. Super confused. Uh, yeah, he only has his he only has his blue, he's taken three camps, it's whatever. He's just gone for a gank. And I'm gonna try and secure this crab here. Just because the Talia has a bit of prior here. Um honestly, the Nudu can take this if he wants to. He can take this crab very easily, but I'm I'm sure he's a bit intimidated. Uh and we should expect the Nunu to be going topside here, just because he's Darius very overextended. Um <clears throat> and I'm like, nah, this guy's dead for sure. He's hundred percent dead. And then he heals for like three hundred HP and I'm like Wait, we actually have this. All right, I'm going in. And then I miss my W because I'm trash. And then Nuno actually gets the snowball on the Darius and that screws him over. But then the Jax is here. I'm holding my leap as you can see. I know he's going to jump over the wall at some point. So there we go. Got him. Bam. And because he doesn't have flash from the level one uh, cage fight in the top lane bush, uh, he just, yeah, I'm able to pick him up pretty easily with a flash. Uh, QW flash there, very nice. And that's super good for me. Um, I'm going to see if I can come over here and help my help my team do something here we've got the got the locks actually ganking the Talia. this was a great gank and sure enough i'm here to kind of secure the kill hello there i'm gonna take that bam i'm gonna try and phase rush out i just get out of the tower range but the minions finished me off which is kind of so sucky i couldn't really w heal off that either because if i did 
W under the tower, I probably would have got hit uh, by that last tower shot, but hey. Yes, whatever, I'll take that. Like that, I was going to reset anyway, so that was worth for me. Um, and it's worth for... I think it's worth for the Talia too. Anyway. Uh, good shit, we actually pick up the Sheen first, because the Sheen is going to give us the most value in terms of damage. Um, because we'll be able to consistently uh, proc it onto the jungle camps, etc. So the Sheen is like the most important component of the Divine Sunderer in regards to Kha'Zix. And here I'm going to try and take the bottom crab because I see it's up. But then the Kais is going to come along and I'm assuming the Malchai is behind her. And uh, yeah, everyone's coming down to kind of just stop me from taking this crab. But I'm like, fuck, I'm just going to take it anyway. And then I'm going to jump out. Bam, I'm going to jump out. And I'm going to I'm going to drop. I'm going to blast going away and not over the wall because there's people over the wall as well. And I'm just running for my life here, man. Please. Please. Shit, man. There's like four people chasing me and they even heal to get closer to me. And you know, I should have ran up here, but I run down because I'm a donkey. And I just I just seal my fate there. I should have just started running up straight up. Straight up, regardless of whether or not Kaisa was in range for me. But hey, yeah. It's a bit of a mistake. Bit of a mistake there, but I feel like it's, it's whatever. I, I could have survived. I'm pretty sure. Um, and then my team's going to try and consolidate for that. Uh, they pick up the Maokai, but it's not enough. The Jin's going to go down as well. And uh, yeah, that's just a bit unfortunate, eh? Oh, well, it's all right. <laughs> um, the Nunu's going to keep going onto the Lux, and he's really hard committing here. So I'm just like, oh, okay. So you're really going to commit, huh? And yeah, he kind of has to because I'm pretty sure he's just dead there regardless. Um, if I jump on him, he kind of just dies. He has nothing up, so... Yeah, was, I think it was very easy for me to pick him off. And that was a good play by the Nunu for actually hard committing to that. I feel like he had no choice. And with that, we finally get a break and I'm just going to go for my camps again. Very nice. Uh, you can see the work that the Sheen proc is doing. I didn't actually see the numbers it's doing on that Gromp, but you can see it's actually doing a decent chunk of damage. See, an extra... Uh, looks like about an extra 60 damage. Yeah, around an extra 60 damage or so with each Sheen proc. That's really good because it adds up. You can get multiple uh, Sheen procs on a on a camp clear. So you can uh, maybe do like 180 with three procs. That's pretty nice. Um, even 300 at most if you're using it a lot. Uh, it's really, really valuable actually. Um, I feel like Sheen is extremely underrated on car. And there's just... The reason I think Sheen has not really been like a core component on Kart is just because the items that build from Sheen aren't that great on aren't that great on him. But I feel like Divine Sunder is really nice and it's honestly amazing. Like super underrated and I do recommend you guys try it out. Absolutely. I did a gameplay on the Divine Sunder replace style before and I'm revisiting it here and sure enough man, I'm so impressed. Like I'm so impressed. Especially even with the build path where you don't get much A D and you don't get much like lethality you don't get lethality at all. But <clears throat> just with the sheen alone and the phage and whatever it doesn't feel that unbearable to play early to, to play the early game but then again i'm picking this into the like the, the suitable comp so it's probably not that great into certain team comps so maybe like against hard damaging bruises um uh like maybe darius or like silas or something it's probably not that amazing but uh, against like scaling bruises like Jax, it's probably like, it's just, it feels, it feels fantastic. So the Orianna is ISO here. She's really got no way of escaping this. I'm going to pick her off very, very easily. We take those. We see the Nunu in the bot side. Very nice. Uh, so we know who he is. And I'm just going to walk up here and see if he actually walks into my face. But that's probably not the case at all. And uh, with the Ori dead, I decide to wait. Uh, because as you can see, the Kaisa just started, she just W'd the dragon. Um... So after the W runs out and they don't have vision of it anymore, I'm just going to start the dragon straight up because we have prior in the mid lane. You can see that Talia is doing well. She's actually applying uh, her priority into, you know, the bot lane here. And she's going to land a fantastic ulti and block off the Maokai. So the Maokai has basically no choice but to fight it. He's level 4. Don't know what the fuck happened, but he's level 4. <laughs> uh, Maokai support, everyone. Very nice. Uh, yeah, we see the Nunu here. I'm just going to walk up. I'm not afraid at all. So... Everything is chill for me here. Uh, he's, you can see he's doing the raptors, but it's whatever. And right now I'm just kind of using my lead and applying pressure by getting the dragon and shit. Um, I have my Sunderer now, pretty sure. Yeah, that's enough, right? Yep. 
1500 gold, bam, we take those. Very nice. Pick up our boots too, and we're going to head down into the bot side and then clear up to the top side of the map where we'll take the Herald after. Actually, we're not going to do that. I quickly changed directions here uh, because I see the Nunu here, and obviously we see he's walking straight into my jungle. And I'm like, Talia, please go around so we can actually kill this guy, but uh, she's, she has a better idea and she just flips him back. Bam, we take that. We're just going to jump on him quick and kill him. A uh, bit of a risky, risky invade by him there. I don't think he respected much at all, uh, especially when he didn't have Snowball up to get away. And so that was a, just a pretty nice uh, pick for me onto the Nunu. And with that, I'm just like, all right, let's try and do something around this top side since I'm here. Screw the camps. I don't really need to farm uh, that much because it's a Nunu and I am, I'll always be ahead of the Nunu right now just because I'm super super fed with five kills and so this isn't watered I'm gonna try and pick up the jacks here um, Darius lands a good hook uh, but unfortunately I actually give the I give the jacks a little bit of an advantage by standing behind him so he can just kind of cue to me and gain some distance and he just uh, stuns us and gets out so that's a bit unfortunate but that's also quite good because now we have prior for Herald. Except I'm an idiot! Because now I'm not even going for the Herald. I'm just going to greed and go for this Orianna. Don't really know why I'm doing this. It's just because I thought this was a free kill. And we're going to pick her up very easily. But uh, of course Nunu's here. And I should have expected that really. I should have 100% expected the Nunu to be there. Uh, I'm just I'm just, uh, I'm just, just trolling at that point. <laughs> so that's not really worth. Even though I got a kill. Uh, because I give up the Herald for quite a long time. And uh, kind of delays what I actually need to do in the game to kind of snowball uh, the game into victory. But hey, hey, it's whatever. <laughs> uh, we're going to respawn. And with that, we'll take our Merc Treads as well. Merc Treads are super important in this game. You can see there's a lot of magic damage on a lot of CC. Uh, shit going on in the bot lane. The Jin is actually doing a lot of work. Uh, he's going to pick up the Kai'Sa and Malkai here. Although Attili is going to do the Kai'Sa for him. Uh, that sounded a bit weird, but, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> um, and yeah, I'm still right in the top side of the map. Please, then just, um, you, you can see that I'm looking at the mid lane. I'm like, oh shit, maybe I can gank her again. But like, no, it's not the right thing to do. And, um, we see the Darius coming in here. He gets ganked, but he actually picks up the Jackson to process. He's almost gonna die, but no, the Nunu picks him off and I just arrived there a little too late. But I do pick up the Nunu. Uh, as well, so that's very nice. We'll take that and please do the Herald! Tinges, please! Oh my god! No, uh, well, I mean the blue is more important than the Herald, I guess, so After the blue, can we take the Herald, please? Thank you. All right, we're gonna take that blue and then we're gonna take the Herald straight after So yeah, that was um, Quite a, it took ages for me to take this Herald and I should have done it earlier Instead of going for that gank on the Oriana in the mid lane and dying, yeah, it's really, it was really important that I took this, I think, um, just because I really wanted the tower plating, but uh, what's coming up uh, is a bit unfortunate, so you'll see, and uh, bam, take the Herald, finally, and then we're going to look for something, jokes, we have nothing to do, so we're just going to go take Raptors, but then it hit me, a sudden realization just hit me uh, right about now. And that's that the turret painting is going to be falling. So I'm just like, oh shit, I've wasted too much time taking this Herald. So I'm immediately going to go mid and I'm just going to say, fuck it. I'm pushing this wave. You can't do anything about it. No, what are you doing? I, I mean, I know I kill her, but now the Nunu's here and you can see the time is ticking down. The turret planning is running out in 20 seconds. Can I drop the Herald? Fuck no, I can't because I'm being, I'm being sit on by this Nunu. And it's, uh, the Jack's coming along too. So I'm not going to be able to drop the Herald and get the Tower thing. That's actually tragic. I wasted so much time. Uh, and I just did not drop the Herald. So that kind of sucks. And then the Nunu and the Jacks pick up the Talia. There's nothing I can really do there because they're not isolated and I have no cooldowns up. So yeah, that kind of sucks. It took ages. It took ages for me to grab Herald. You can see it teleport by the Oriana, Oriana here. I know she has no ultimate, so I'm not scared of her here. You can see that she's just barely any damage to me. Nunu's going to try and snowball me. I'm going to quickly swing around the corner. Bam, we're going to queue him in isolation. Divine Sunder doing a lot of work here. I'm going to kite away with Phase Rush. We're going to just narrowly kill the Nunu, jump on him for the kill. And uh, I try and W the Oriana, but the Malkai stops it. 
Yeah, jeez, man. The Maokai stops the W from hitting the Oriana. Although the Jin's gonna pick up the Ori instead, and the Darius is gonna cut down the tree. Deforestation, catch you later. Holy shit, that was a pretty extended fight. And it's just a shame because we still have the Herald in our inventory and it's just not going anywhere. We can't really get much value out of it now because, well, we can still get the tower with it or something, but we miss out on the tower plating, but hey, it's all right. We're still ahead of the game and uh, yeah, that's about it. So for my itemization here, I'm going to decide to go for a Serrated Dirk just because I want that bit of extra uh, damage as a power spike. Serrated Dirk's always a very nice damage power spike with the lethality. And then we're going to pick up a Kindle Gem as we're going into Black Cleaver next. So yeah, as I said, this is basically a... Um, it's basically a Bruiser build. Bruiser, you know, skirmishing build. I wouldn't really consider it Bruiser. I, I don't know. It's just a thing of its own, really. I don't really put names on like types of Kha'Zix builds. I'm just like, okay, this is Divine Sunderer. And this is what I'm going. Have fun with it. <laughs> like, that's about it. I'm just gonna say fuck it. Like, take a look at this. I do no- I take no damage. And I'm just gonna be able to run out straight away. Uh, with the extra health from Divine Thunder and Kindle Gem, I'm able to just kind of tank uh, a lot more hits than usual. So, I'm gonna try and just play around with a Nunu here. He's gonna drop his ulti, but I'm just gonna jump out straight away. He doesn't actually reactivate the ulti to deal damage to me, but... Yeah, he's gonna almost- yeah, he does die. And I'm actually gonna evolve my R here. And as I said, this, this is a skirmishing playstyle, so you want to evolve your R here um, for that insane skirmishing power combination with the Q and R Evo at level 11. Super, 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 super nice. Uh, by far one of the strongest Evo orders in the game right now. Always has been, really. Um, <clears throat> and yeah, it's just super underrated. So that's why I'm going it. Just in, in compare, in, in, com bleh, English. English, in combination with Divine Thunder, I just feel like it's, it's amazing. So yeah, we're gonna go that, and we're gonna pick up the dragon here. Very nice. Um, nothing the enemy team can really do to contest me. And so, we're gonna return to our jungle, take our camps. Um, there's not really much... I mean, we could follow we could follow the Talia, I guess, in the bot lane, but there's not really much we can do in this scenario. Uh, like, half the team is gonna come up topside and try to kill the Darius. Jax is gonna die in the process, so that's nice. Jax is not having a fun game. <laughs> I don't know what he was thinking that level one fight. He was trying to cheese a Darius, um, and honestly, no, he almost got away with it. But I think it kind of costed him in the end because Darius could just bully him nonstop because he had no flash. But hey, um, fight's gonna break out in the mid. I'm gonna R evolve in here. Just jump straight on the Kaiser. I'm not afraid of anything. They don't have enough damage to kill me. You can take a look. Divine Sunder is just making me really, really tanky uh, with all that health, and I'm just gonna be able to walk up to them. And press Q and auto attack and they just die. So yeah, it's a very, I think this is like a, it doesn't, it doesn't take that much effort to play. I feel like, all right, so here we go. Um, Nuna's going to come along with the Ariana and I'm just like, bro, what are you doing? You know, you can't kill me. I, I've just told, I've just shown you this like a thousand times. You cannot kill me here. So I just jump straight on the Ariana and I just immediately follow her flash and just kill her. Like it was, this is just that simple. Um, you can see that I don't have to worry about a single thing. If I was going like fully Thali, Hail of Blades, Kha'Zix, I would have to worry about so many things because I'm so, I'd be so squishy, but this is giving me like the, the, the defensive stats, the health, just the health really, um, is letting me survive a lot longer, um, than what I'd normally survive as, if that makes sense. I'm going to try this build with Hail of Blades at some point. Um, I actually tried like Prowler's Claw with Hail of Blades before and went uh, kind of pseudo, uh, like, skirmishing assassin playstyle. That was really cool. I enjoyed it. But yeah, this fight, another fight's gonna break out here. Uh, my team's gonna go down here, Talia Jin down. I'm gonna R evolve in once again. We're gonna rinse and repeat the exact same thing we did before to the Kaiser and Maokai. And yeah, just look, man. What do they do? What do they do? It's just amazing. The, the amount of safety you have with the health, and then you heal as well with Divine Sunderer too, with the uh, auto attack against... Yeah, once you proc it against enemies. Uh, it's just great, man. I just feel like this is such a... Poggers build. <laughs> oh my god, I've been on Twitch too much. <laughs> yeah, but it's, it's really nice. I do recommend trying this out. Um, it has a very different feel to it compared to... Uh, I think the alternative to this build would probably be the Gorgian Kokonk build. Uh, it has a very, very different feel. You're much more mobile with the phase rush and... Um, 
you, it just feels more flexible to use. Uh, on top of that, for conqueror, for the conqueror gorge and can build to be effective, you actually have to be close and put yourself. Yeah, yeah, you have to be in close range, put yourself in terrible situations, and you just have to hope that the Gorgonk is going to save you in those bad situations. So, I honestly don't think it's that great of a build, and it doesn't really teach the good fundamentals of Kha'Zix at all. Um, but with at least with this build, you're learning how to use our Evolve to kind of maneuver around fights, and, you know, learning how to use your Phase Rush better. I feel like this is just way better fundamentally for learning Kha'Zix and just getting used to him. Uh, for those that are, you know, trying to learn him. For those of you that just want to try something new, fuck yeah, try this out. I guarantee you, if you pick it into the right comp, uh, which is like, uh, teams that don't have that much damage, really. I think that was, that's the situation where you want to take this. You build this into teams that don't have much damage, good luck. I mean, just have fun, man. You're going to have a blast. And I'm thinking about going in here. I'm thinking about going in here. Uh, oh yeah, I didn't touch that on, on the fact that I did pick up my cleaver. Um, but yeah, I have to still kind of play safe. I still have to, I'm still Kha'Zix, so I still have to respect. And uh, the Orion is going to get very close to getting CC'd here. Malkyra is going to drop. The Tilly is going to drop an ult and fucking zone off the Orianna and Malkai. So catch her later. Those two are going to go down very easily. And uh, yeah, I didn't touch on this, but yeah, after my cleaver, I'm going to go Sterax. <laughs> Sterax is going to let me survive more and just you know, Kato more towards that Bruiser playstyle. Uh, very nice. We're going to pick up the Nunu here. You can see I'm just running through everything. I'm not giving a shit. Look at my health. I'm not worried whatsoever. Not a chance. Nope, don't give a shit. I have my team to support me as well. I'm basically acting at the, as the tank in this scenario. And yeah, the Kaiser's is going to try and jump on me, but she just doesn't have enough damage, as you can see. And I'm going to survive. We all get trapped inside the base, so the Darius is like, come on, homies. Let, let's get out of here. And he takes one for the team. He tanked his health bar and we managed to get out safely. So yeah, now we're just pushing down the mid lane tower. Um, limit test, we're gonna jump on the Orianna. That's exactly what I said in that scenario. I'm like, limit test, fuck it, I'm really low. Normally I would die if I was Lethality Kha'Zix there. But um, because I have so much health, like I, I live in that scenario. Very, very good shit. Uh, Talia's gonna trade with the Kaisa. very nice. And I'm just like, nah, I've had enough. I've had enough guys, catch you later. Um, I'm going to pick up the Infernal Trick now, uh, which is going to be our third dragon. We're not going to... I don't think we're going to have the uh, Infernal Soul. I don't remember, actually, but yeah, it's whatever. Um, yeah, you can see people in the chat typing, Hi, YouTube. I told them to say that. Hello. Twitch.tv slash x one Come check me out if you want to see these games live. I talk over them, etc. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to return to my camps here just because I wanted my Sterex. And you can see the Jin. Take a look at the minimap. Oh, the Jin's going to come and take my camps. Oh, no. So I ping away the Raptors and the Krugs, and I'm like, bro, leave him. I need Sterex. And so little do I know that these two camps are not enough. And I'm only able to get the Sterex if I take the Reddit as well. So, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's unfortunate. <laughs> I'm not going to have enough gold here. Just barely. Barely not enough gold to buy the Sterex after these Krogs. Very sad. It is a sad moment. Can we get an L? Um, I, hey, it's whatever, though. Although, actually, no, I could I could have just sold my pink ward and just waited a little bit. Tenjus, you should probably do that. Do that, Tenjus, yeah. Oh, my God, just sell it, bro. Recall. All right, whatever. I'm going to take the blue and then recall. <clears throat> oh, sorry. First, we're going to jump on the or or Oriana, and then we're going to recall. And uh, the Talia is going to try and get the Oriana. Very, very nice kill. Jin's going to pick up the Maokai somehow. Don't really know what happened there. Uh, but he's going to go down in the process because the team ganked him. Uh, and yeah, we have our Sterex now. I'm not going to lie. I don't really know how I feel about the Sterex uh, in terms of Kha'Zix. I, I just... I think I would rather have maybe Death Stance here, or maybe a, uh, what else? What else could I go? Uh, maybe more, or so just straight up Cyril's Grudge, I don't know. I don't know, guys. I really don't. I'm still on the fence about, uh, Sterex. I don't really feel like it's that amazing, but it is pretty nice. So I'm going to limit test it here, and I'm just going to jump straight on the Kai'Sa. You can see the Kai'Sa is actually a little bit stronger than before, 
and we're gonna be able to pick her up very nicely. I'm still limit testing, I'm jumping straight on her. She's gonna Zonia's, um, I'm gonna get hard CC'd here. I should really flash out in this scenario. Sterix is gonna save me for a little bit, but then I get CC'd yet again. And uh, I just kind of go down after that. So it took a while for me to die. I suppose that was a pretty good, pretty good run considering it was like one v five. So, so that was nice. And uh, this cl um, classic Darius moment, as you can see here. Take a look. He's just gonna make everyone bleed to death. He's gonna just, just heal. What the hell is this champ? Hello? He just healed like five thousand million HP. If that's that's not a word, but you know, um, classic Darius moment to end the game. Guys, that's going to be it. I just wanted to showcase this build because it was just so much fun to play in this game. And uh, yeah, honestly, super, super, super good uh, into the right comps. I would really recommend this over the Conqueror Gorjunker build that's been going around lately. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, four days in a row, still going strong. Uh, thank you guys. Like and subscribe if you're new. All that good shit. And yeah, I will catch you guys next time. See you later.